What's up, everyone, and welcome to Project X Talk Extra, your weekly podcast supplement from Project X Talk. Uh, this is the show where we break down the news stories that didn't quite make the main show, especially this week because it's our, our Game of the Year episode. Uh, there weren't any news stories, so if you haven't checked out our Game of the Year episode, please go check that out. My name is Kevin, aka the Muffin Man, and today I'm joined by the human alpaca himself, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. And uh, the man who it's uh, 10 p.m. over there in the UK, by my estimation. Uh, Aman, how are you doing? I'm doing great, dude. How are you guys? I'm, I'm excellent. Uh, we're we're going to talk about something that I hope comes true. Because um, our news story today, guys, comes from an article from Atlas. Um, it was from a Famitsu column where... Um, Shinjiro Takada uh, over at Atlas was speaking, and he says that he has chosen the word challenge as his keyword for 2022 in hopes, and he chose this because he hopes to release a title into the world that will become a pillar for Atlas. Uh, he says Atlas is hard at work at developing a new game and hopes fans will look forward to it. So it goes on to a bunch of speculation, but guys, I wanted to get your thoughts on this because it's been quite some time since a new Persona game. Obviously, that is the the new, like the big series that Atlas is known for. It hasn't been that long since an Atlas game, though. We've gotten quite a few recently. We got Shin Megami Tensei Five just this year, and we've had uh, Thirteen Aegis Rim, I believe, came out last year or two years ago. So they are pumping out titles. Aman, I'm going to start with you. What do you think? is the game that he is referencing. Do you think it's a new IP? Do you think it's an established IP? I think it's a brand new IP because oh. um, in, in the article, they mentioned uh, something about uh, the game being a new pillar for the company. Uh, I, I, I see Persona as an established pillar, um, like uh, Shin Megami Tensei is an established pillar. So I think this is a brand new IP. And there were there was like a report a few years ago that they're seriously working on a new IP. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, I pretty, I, I have a, I have a good feeling that it's going to be a new IP. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The new IP would be something, um, I mean, not new for them. Like I said, 13 ages rim just came out. That was a, that was a new IP from, from Atlas. Um, Tom, your thoughts. Do you think that this is a brand new IP like I'm on, or are we going to get something different? Jeez. I didn't know about that pillar thing. <laughs> so I would have been like, oh yeah, it's probably a new IP. Oh, uh, but okay. I can say what I would I would like to see. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't it, mind seeing it. a new. Have you guys ever played Dragon's Crown? Dragon's. It's a, two, uh, it's a no. 2D, really artsy, uh, side-scrolling RPG, but uh, published by Atlas. Okay, I've never uh, heard of it. It's a really fun and really deep oh, game. Right, it yeah. came out. It came out during the PS3 era and 360 era. Uh, there was a remake of not a remake, but like a remaster, so to speak, for last generation of consoles as well. Hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing that, uh, or like some sort of like new sequel to that. It's not a big game, so it's definitely something they could pump out relatively quickly. Uh, given you know the scale of the game is a lot smaller than the Shigeru Megami Tensei's and the Personas, mm -hmm. so if they really want to like you know add some sort of stability and consistency, be, uh, like with releases, a uh, Dragon's Crown, you know, making that into an actual series that you know has a yearly release, for example, that's something that's so doable just based on the scale of the game. I don't think that's a bad shout, um, bringing back an old IP and trying to revitalize it. Uh, like we said, there's there's two main pillars in their uh, gaming portfolio in Shin Megami Tensei and Persona, which Persona is a spinoff. So they haven't really, you know, created something new that's like blown up in, in the way that those two series have. So maybe they bring back Dragon's Crown or, or something like that. And get that to a point where it can stand alongside those two. I think that's a, I think that's a good shout. Um, I hear you, I hear him on for um, you know his his new IP. That makes a lot of sense for where they're going. But wait, guys, wait, wait. I got some more fuel to oh, add to that. To my burning okay. fire here. All right. Okay. Oh, burning so, um, fire. Okay, I found this article which was published two days ago, and um, uh, say uh, Atlas had confirmed like four or five years ago that they've been working on a new IP called RE Fantasy. And um, it's still not been released yet, so okay, that this is what it could be. So let me just read the article. Um, 
So when discussing the top JRPGs of the last several years, it's impossible to leave out Persona 5, the latest ins installation in the Persona series, uh, blah, blah, blah. And yes, um, while not much is known about this potential new IP, a handful of teasers for Project RE Fantasy exist, hinting at a combination of traditional European fantasy concepts with a different look at what exactly fantasy means. That's all the article had on that. But yeah, uh, I think um, Atlas were teasing this quite a long time ago. I don't know if the project's been canceled or not, but it could hmm. be this one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to say I would love a fantasy style like JRPG from exactly. that. Like that would be, um, that would be fantastic. Like dragons and, and yeah, knights. Like, and like we had that. that. Fire emblem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not from Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> they published it. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Wait. What? What yeah, did they they published the initial uh, Demon Souls game from the PS3. No, really? Yeah. Wait, that's really? Thing. Yeah, that's oh. they published that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that either. What? Yeah, before like Bandai Namco took over with like the next games, like Dark Souls. Wow, learn something new. Um, oh man. Okay, I hope it's not a uh, Soulsborne like <laughs> game. Please, <laughs> please, Atlas. You already have Shin Megami Tensei, which is too hard. Like I don't even. I haven't even got the fifth one. I keep seeing it on sale, and I'm like, maybe I should try it out. But it's just the difficulty. And I hear the checkpoints in that game are brutal. It just, I can't. I can't deal with it. Guys, I'm a, I'm just going to throw it out there. I want this to be Persona 6. I know yeah, that's a long I'm pretty shot. sure everyone wants it to be Persona 6, yeah. Yeah. Do I think, realistically, it's going to be Persona 6? No, I, I don't. Even though I think we're due because Persona 5 was... It was a six, PS3 game. Six years ago? I think it was 2015? No. Persona Persona 5 wasn't a PS3 game, was it? I think Persona 5 wasn't a PS3. Was it? Yeah. Was it really that long ago? I'm going to look this up. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Google... Yeah, yeah. And no, Persona it came out during the PlayStation 4 generation, but it came on both... Oh, okay, okay. That's okay. What it, was. That's, that it was a cross gen. Yeah. Got it. Was it? Yeah. What? What year? Do we have a year on that? I think twenty fourteen or twenty fifteen. Twenty fourteen. Sure. Okay. So either yeah. way, certainly due for a new Persona game. Although, and the the thing with that is, Atlas loves to take their time with these Persona games. Like they re-release and re-release the same one. Like how many times has Persona Four been released? Like that game is like twenty years old at this point. Let's let's move move it along quicker pace. I think because they are under Sega, they clearly are beloved uh, critically and by the fan base. They do, they do well commercially. Like we need to start getting these out at a faster pace. I'm not talking like every year, every two years, like every four to five years, there should be a persona like ready to go though. I think that is a realistic target and we're coming up on, on six or so years, at least of uh, persona five. So persona six, and it needs to come to Xbox, guys. Like, I, I know everyone's like, will it come to Xbox? Atlas is skipping them for lots of stuff, like Persona 4, Arena, Ultimax, uh, that port that's coming out. They're skipping Xbox. So despite Chances Xbox... Are, it's not happening then. I know. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like, Xbox and Sega have such a good relationship right now. Why is Atlas... The, like do they get to make their own decisions even though they're owned by sega are, are, are they just like nah we're not doing that sorry dad yeah it can be like a a bethesda and that, like microsoft kind of deal like you know bethesda's doing their own thing really apparently mm -hmm. where we still like xbox still has like their own studios as well and they're kind of like separately managed so it might be a similar situation i just find that so hard to like believe because like when i think of atlas i don't think of some like they're not on the level of bethesda like they're not that big like they're not a huge giant you know publisher they're they're one studio right like i know they have probably different locations but i just don't view them that way so to get that autonomy and like control over like platforms something as small as like what platform you're going to either Sony really is like we're paying you tons of money to keep Persona off. <laughs> like you can put it on every, you can put the side games on Switch because the side games have come to Switch. We got uh, the fighting games on Switch. We got Strikers on Switch. Although the original Persona Four Arena was on Xbox, so that makes it even stranger that Ultimax isn't coming 
to the to Xbox. Hmm. It's a it's a strange one, guys. But that remains to be seen. I or or I, or, or Microsoft can just acquire Sega. Oh my god. Uh, That'll do always, it. Always turns into acquisition talk. But yeah, no, I I think we all have reasonable, me probably the least reasonable. I, I think a new IP, maybe that uh, re-whatever fantasy game you were talking about, uh, Amon, I think that might be a, a good shout. And then uh, Tom bringing back an established IP, or not established, a, a forgotten IP, also a good shout. Those are probably all more realistic than Persona 6. Uh, but if Persona 6 happens in 2022, guys, someone's buying me a game. Amon, you will figure out a way to get me a game. <laughs> and, it, and it's not going to be Toy Story 3 because uh, Kevin's be. already has it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I bought Toy Story 3 myself for $5. And let me tell you guys, it's dope. It's dope. So uh, anything else to add before we wrap up this uh, episode of Extra? It's a, it's a short one, a little short news story. Maybe getting Persona 6 next year. Nothing else. All right. Well. Until next time, guys, make sure to check out our Game of the Year episode that published a few days ago. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe if you like this content and any of our other content. We have some stuff coming up that you're going to really like, I think. Um, make sure to rate and review us over on Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to your audio podcast service. And until next time, I've been Kevin, a.k.a. The Muffin Mon. Uh, Tom, where can they find you? Find me on Twitter at Alpaca Tom. Amon, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Amon underscore M05. And that is it. Follow us at Project X Talk. We will see you guys next Monday with another Project X Talk Extra. Goodbye. Bye.